the shins on as you touched on, Kevin. There's a lot of experience, albeit amateur experience, but there's still a lot of experience inside there. Polito 2-0, Fabian Lopez 3-0, going for his fourth tonight. This, uh, this could be Polito's first fight with no shin guards, which does mess with some fighters. You know, it's a, it's a comfort thing. Fight fans, here we go. Spar Star Promotions is proud to present three rounds of mixed martial arts in the featherweight division, the Battle of the Undefeated. This bout is sponsored in part by Sniper Fightwear. Once again, our referee in charge of this bout, Franklin Aguirre. And now, introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the right corner, he is wearing gray and white trunks. He is training out of Saxon's Muay Thai in Van Eyes by way of Regula Chile. He weighed 135 pounds. He brings to the cage an undefeated record. Three wins with no losses. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Figure. His opponent across the cage on my right, fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing orange trunks trimmed in blue. He is training out of Dream Killer Fight Team by way of South Central Los Angeles. He weighed in 145 pounds. He too is undefeated. Two wins, no losses, with one win coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing George. And especially Lista Pulido. Once again, three rounds of mixed martial arts in the featherweight division. Fight fans, a reminder, due to the safety of the fighters, we ask that you please refrain from any flash photography during the bouts. We thank you for your cooperation. All right, guys, who you got on this one? Uh, Man, this is a tough one to call. Red or blue? Polito has the reach advantage. I'm gonna uh, have to go. I'm gonna have to go red on this, just because uh, I've seen him fight before. We've got a southpaw versus orthodox here. It's gonna open up maybe some body kicks. Polito hitting that li nice lead leg kick right off the bat. A little bit of a feeling out process, and, and that is not an odd thing for two guys, both undefeated. Somebody's O has to go tonight, and even though they are amateurs. That undefeated record really does mean a lot to these young fighters. Oh, absolutely. That was everything to me when I started. It was like 2-0 and oh, and 3-0. and oh, and Couldn't wait to be 8-0 and 16-0. Oh, and, right. and, oh, and it was like there was so much pressure put on keeping that <laughs> O, you know? And I didn't lose until I went pro. And then I was like, oh, fuck, I didn't know how to deal with it. <laughs> I wish I would have lost as an amateur. Both of these guys still engaged in that feeling out process, doing leg kicks. Lopez looking to land with the one-two, but uh, Polito quick on the retreat. And just by the smell test early, you can see the education behind these two young men. Oy. Polito seems to be the more comfortable of the two right now. Lopez seems to be feeling out, trying to find the range, throwing that front leg sidekick. Great footwork from both of these two. But you, but you get the feeling that right something's, the something's about to happen. Oh, and perhaps well, there, it there did. Was th that body <laughs> kick I was talking about. You know, when you have the mirror stance like that, you open yourself up to get hit to the body. Unfortunately, it was a little low. It got cracked right on the cup. Purely incidental. Or not incidental, accidental. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be no worse for the wear, though. I think we're going to get started here. Referee Aguirre calls the ball to the center, and here we go. The chess match continues. George Polito, Fabian Lopez. Switching to that lead leg again, Polito. Polito really attacking the legs. Hasn't gone upstairs too much with the hands. Oh. Nice left hand lands for Lopez. Neither fighter seems to have any interest in taking this to the ground. 
There's a long feeling out process. I think Lopez uh, started getting, looked like they were both nervous in the beginning, and Lopez started letting his hands go, trying to get more comfortable, and it seemed to pay off for him. I'd give him that round. Close back and forth round with not a lot of action. Joe, you give you give, you give that round to Lopez or Polito? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Polito? Yeah. Polito, okay. You know, those are the types of, that's the type of round that really can make the fight interesting. Because if the next rounds end up going decisively one way or another, it could be anyone's fight. Yeah. Well, Joe, you, you, can, you can speak to this. Getting that first round out of the way does a lot for your comfort level. A lot of times you go back and you sit on the stool and you say, all right, I'm still here. I didn't get starched. I've seen this guy move. It's nothing I haven't seen before. A lot of times you get comfortable and then you really start letting the hands and the feet go. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I thought, shit, I'm bad with the names. Blue corner uh, was, uh, you know, Polito. 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 He started uh, kind of forcing himself to get loose and start throwing. The other guy was more tentative. And sometimes, you can, especially at, that, at the amateur level, you get stuck in that that mold, you know what I mean? Right. Like, uh, if you didn't get it going in the first round, you might not get it going until the second round. So. Right. Uh, and you know, one thing that's important to point out is these rounds are only two minutes long. So yeah, that's so right. You, you really don't get a lot of uh, time to prove your point, if you will. Nice turning sidekick there for Lopez. He's got to be careful coming in, setting up the, or throwing those kicks without oh, setting them up. another one. Another swipe to the groin. Sometimes it's the ones that the toes just catch the tip, the, the front of the cup that, that really hurt. Yeah, I think that's what happened there. I think that's what happened on the other one, too. Yep. It's like they, instead of blocking the kick, they jump back out of the way, and mm -hmm. the last thing you get out of the way is the tip of that cup. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and I think it was Eddie Murphy that said, you don't even have to. You could just graze them. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you can just, like, breathe on it, <sighs> and, and it's going to hurt, let alone taking a front kick. Well, here it is right here, the replay. As you said, Kevin, it, it just seems to be their opposite stance that it, it's going to happen. Well, they're using the lead leg to attack with. You know, there's no, you don't see the, the rear leg's not coming forward. They're skipping forward and throwing that lead leg. And it's always, it's been low, you know, to the outside or the inside. Now, those aren't scoring blows. Of course, they're accidental. No one's going to get penalized for them. But they definitely take a toll, Joe, don't they? Oh, absolutely. I'd like to see Lopez attack the inside of Polito's leg. So far, he's just been throwing that lead leg outside shot. Getting a little comfortable on his feet. George Paluto doing a little Hollywood shuffle there. Yeah, it seems like whoever is going to really take the initiative and step in there and throw is going to be the guy that comes out on top on this one. They're both very tentative and yeah. staying at the end of stuff. You know, they're smacking each other with their toes. Exactly. And the dick and the leg all, all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> it's all toes. That's right. Yeah, nothing, that is a nice, it had some meat on it there, landed with the shin, but again, coming from that front leg, it's hard to generate a lot of power. If Fe, uh, Fabian looks like he's a little more, you know, like he's, he's getting after it a little more right now. Yeah, it looks like he's waiting wait wait to, to counter. Step in, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you have to be willing to eat one to get one off, you know, step right in the pocket, let it rip. Yeah, I'd like to see somebody throw a combination. It's, it seems to be a lot of one and one. I throw one, no, you miss. Then I throw one, and you miss. Exactly. You know, the guy that's going to go one, two, three, or put in that combination. The first two might miss, but it's usually that third, fourth that's, that's going to get the oh, job done. Beautiful duck on. Well timed, but great sprawl. It was a great, uh, a beautiful sprawl. And it, the timing was perfect, but Fabian just real heavy hips. Good job locking up, shoving that underhook through there, Kevin. I don't like how he's defending the single leg, though. If he, if Polito runs the pipe to his right, he, he could have potentially finished that. He had both yeah. underhooks on one side. Again, that's that two-minute round. Yeah. Right when he starts to get going is when, you know, how do you, how do you score that one? Man, I, I, nobody really landed anything significant. Nothing you know? really significant. He went for the take dive and didn't get it, but he, it shows initiative, initiative. right? Uh -huh. This, this fight for me is the white Russian of mixed drinks. It's really muddy. I can't tell what it is, you know? Um, I, I, I tend to think that uh, Lopez came to life in that round a little bit more. That doesn't mean I gave it to him, but uh, I could see a, a judge or two giving it to Lopez on that. Yeah, I, I'm watching, I'm thinking Lopez is, uh, he's a little uncomfortable right now. He's, he hasn't gotten loose, and now he's feeling the pressure. He's sitting here, I can tell his coaches are telling him to get going. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I hope he does. He needs to, like you said, they need to start throwing combos, and I'd like to see some feints, you know? Yep. 
Yeah, these are 140 pound, 145 pound featherweights. They're they're known for their punches and bunches, and, and uh, we have yet to see that tonight. Yeah, it kind of goes back to what I was saying in the first yeah. round. Blue corner started forcing himself to get comfortable and touching him, throwing throwing shots. Red didn't, and now that was two rounds, and he hasn't really pulled the trigger yet. Right. Yeah, especially at this level, you get stuck in a in a in a mode like that. It, it's uh, hard to come out. And like you said, with a two-minute round, it goes by really yeah. quick. You know, you just you need to allot yourself some time to get off. And I think the the reach. Ooh! That's that sidekick again. It, it's it looks good, but it doesn't do a lot of damage. It's not necessarily like a, a traditional strike that you see a lot. You see it more and more in mixed martial arts now, with the with the lights out or the Wonder Boy Thompson style coming through. But he really buried that heel in the stomach there. That was a nice kick. Really driving here. Oh, oh he nice knee to the belly. Oh, that, that knee hurt him. That knee hurt him. You might switch to the arm here. A little bit of a scramble. This is a great scramble. A lot of athleticism going on right now. We'll see what Lopez has off his back here. George Polito appears to like his egg scrambled. <laughs> Looked like he was going to end up on bottom there, but. Okay. He's messing with the dalliance of the black arts again. We touched on that earlier. Well, Polito is is, is is hugging the body of Lopez, meaning he's just trying to hold him down for now. Looks like he might be attacking that Kimura Lopez is on the left arm of Polito. As you can see on our, our screen here, he's, re he's reaching in for that Kimura grip, maybe to sit up, set up that hip bump sweep or to try to rip that arm out. He's only got 35 seconds left. Again, the, the Polito's time. Polito's posture is pretty bad right now. His legs are stretched out with the butterflies kind of. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not a very dominant position to be able to hold somebody down from. Yeah, he's and, not going to be able to get, up. get a lot of chest weight, that, yeah. That arm. It looks like he's just trying to run the clock out here. He's not really posturing to punch or trying to make an effort to pass. But you know in these two-minute round fights, he could very easily ride out the win right Absolutely. here. Absolutely. He's on top. He stays on top for one minute of a two-minute round. He wins. Right. We lose, but he wins. Exactly. <laughs> Looking for mission control here from rubber guard is Lopez. He's going to run out of time. Yeah, but this is not going to be enough The Oma Plata is there if he would just pull the foot in front of his face. Might be looking for the go-go. It's a shame that wasn't a three-minute round because it was actually getting somewhere there. You know, it, it, I can't help but say I have this feeling that these two young men are going to see each other again down the road, you know? I think so. You gotta, you, I mean, I'm a, I think that fight goes to Polito, yeah, most I think likely. So too. And not for anything that spectacular other than just... He put in more work that round. Yeah. The other guy, uh, Lopez, just couldn't get going. First two rounds he gave away just by maybe anxiety, I'm not sure. It yeah. looked like anxiety to me. Just being too hesitant and then being on bottom for a minute and a half of round three. But there you have it, the first decision of the night. You know, that MMA man can be some convoluted number systems. It never adds up. And we, we, we talked about the judges earlier. God only knows what they're looking at. When, when the judges start adding those tens and nines, crazy shit can happen. <laughs> Absolutely. Pardon my French, but I think it's apropos. To be honest, I, 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 I don't know who won that fight. Like, like I said, it was a muddy fight. I could see it going either way, but I, I, I tend to agree with the assessment my two colleagues came up with. Uh, and simply because basically what Joe said, it, it seemed like he was able, like Polito was able to, to force himself to calm down and he just looked more comfortable. But to play devil's advocate, he did land a couple low blows and the judges may ding him for that too. Yeah. You know, not necessarily on the scorecards, but, but mentally. mentally. And, and Lopez landed that huge spinning side kick to the midsection that planted him. That was he nice. also landed that overhand right as well. Was it enough to sway a scorecard or two? I, I don't know. But that's why these guys get paid the big bucks. <laughs> and we get paid in beef jerky and beer. Jack Daniels. <laughs> Speaking of which, Tony. Right. <laughs> it's cocktail hour. What a hell of a fight. Well-matched bout between these 245-pounders. A shout-out to uh, Anthony Calix, who made this dance happen. But let's get the official uh, decision here. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. We have our decision. Judge at ringside, Larry Manless scores about 29 to 28.
from both judges ringside, Chris Crail and Dr. Nelson Hamilton, scored about 30 to 27 in favor of our winner. It's gotta be blue corner. By unanimous decision, he is still undefeated. The red corner, Oh! What? Wow, like you said, Kevin, maybe right those, on cue. No, we don't know, know what they're looking what? at. Like, I have no idea. Those shots of the pills are not supposed to score, but perhaps they scored negatively. Yeah, well, that's so. not to take anything away from but, Lopez. I mean, he fought, he fought hard, you know, yeah. it was a close fight. Neither one of these guys takes a loss. We will be right back here at the Commerce Casino Spar Star MMA. Don't go anywhere.